Hello everyone, I am Mehmet Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 22. A. Find the magnitude and direction of the electric field at point P due to charges Q1 and Q2, where Q1 is negative 3 nanocoulombs and Q2 is 2.2 nanocoulombs. Since Q1 is a negative charge and we think there is a positive test charge at point P, then the electric field at point P due to charge Q1 is drawn from point P to Q1. And the distance between charge Q1 and point P is found by the Pythagorean theorem as square root of 10 meters. Therefore, the magnitude of E1 is K times the absolute value of Q1 over the distance square root of 10 meters squared. And the direction is E1 times cosine theta i hat plus E1 times sine theta j hat. From the right triangle in the figure, cosine theta is 1 over square root of 10. And sine theta is 3 over square root of 10. As a result, we obtain k times absolute value of q1 over 10 square root of 10 times i hat plus 3 j hat. Also, because Q2 is a positive charge, then the electric field at point P due to charge Q2 is drawn to the left. And the distance between point P and Q2 is 1 plus 2, that is 3 meters. Then electric field E2 is found by the formula K times the absolute value of Q2 over 3 meters squared with the direction negative i hat. So we have negative k times absolute value of q2 over 9 i hat. The net electric field at point P is found by the formula E1 plus E2. The x component is k times absolute value of q1 over 10 square root of 10 minus k times absolute value of q2 over 9. And the y component is 3 times absolute value of q1 over 10 square root of 10. If we insert the numerical values into this equation, we find the net electric field at point P due to charges q1 and q2 as which is in Newton's per Coulomb. And geometrically it can be shown as follows. Its magnitude is found by the formula. So it is calculated to be 2.3084 Newton's per Coulomb. And in three digits, it is 2.31 newtons per clone. The direction of the electric field at point P can be found by the formula. So, you calculate it as negative 54.372 degrees. However, we are searching for a positive result. Then we add 180 degrees to this result. Finally, we obtain angle alpha as approximately 126 degrees. Okay, that's all about part A. B. If you put a third charge Q3 being 
negative 1.2 nanocoulombs at point P, find the magnitude and direction of the force acting on charge Q3. The net force acting on charge Q3 is found by the formula Q3 times the electric field at point P. The magnitude of this force is the multiplication of the absolute value of Q3 and the magnitude of the net electric field. If we insert the numerical values into this equation, so the magnitude of the force acting on charge Q3 is found as approximately 2.77 times 10 to negative 9 newtons. And because Q3 is a negative charge, the direction of the force acting on charge Q3 because of this electric field is opposite to this electric field. Therefore, the direction is beta, that is, negative 54.372 degrees, which is negative 54.3 degrees in three digits. Okay, this is the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.